Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Enthusiast Experiment. I'm your host Mike and today is kind of a in-between episode I guess. Just wanted to do a quick build as Testa would say I think the day one build or one day build or something like that but I got a twins, twin lens reflex camera. Nothing super crazy. It's just a cheap kit um, but I love cameras. This is not 120 it is 35 millimeter. I think it's like a Lomo kit or something or maybe like 14, 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link below. Um, but just wanted to do a quick video and then I'm gonna shoot the camera down and do a quick time lapse of me building it and then I'll see you guys after that I guess. Alright, stay tuned. see we got it all put together here that was a pretty fun pretty fun little kit I think maybe about an hour and a half if I round up maybe an hour and 15 minutes something like that to put together so not too long but uh you fold it up together here pretty nicely in a nice little tight package uh, you pop up in the back here to put the film uh, the top has a viewfinder which you also build it's not exactly uh, Putting the kit together, I thought I would actually put a roll of film through it because you can use it as an actual camera. But after putting it together, I really don't think uh, I'm going to be doing that. I'm just going to keep it as a showpiece. But you can see there's a little viewfinder in there that you make. It has, uh, as it is a twin reflex or twin lens reflex camera, you have the view lens and then the lens that's actually used uh, to imprint on the film. This is your shutter button, uh, which works really well your film advanced levers and this has a little couple of little arrows here that uh, the circle turns at a half circle and each one is like a, one of your frame counters so you would look at that for each half turn to be your next frame uh, and here's a tripod mount and that's basically all the features the focusing is terrible um, you turn both to focus it's really tight they don't go in very much so if you turn it even just a little bit both fall out <laughs> so mainly because of that and the viewfinder is actually not that bright it works it works actually surprisingly well um, but it's not that bright maybe that's just because I'm inside I haven't had a chance to go outside because it actually got kind of dark over the course of building this um, but yeah like I said with the focusing screen I really don't want both these guys popping out when I'm trying to take a couple pictures um, Maybe I'll do it eventually if I get bored or something like that, just to, to run you know 12 shots through it or something and see what I get. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it as like an exhibit piece. And this is what the book looks like in the back. So that way you guys can pause that if you want. Uh, again, like I'll try and find everything and I'll put the link in the description below. Um, but the instructions were kind of messed up too. It's one of those things that took a little bit longer. If everything was pretty well laid out, I probably could have done it about 30 minutes faster. Um, but I don't even feel like showing you guys. It's like a lot of stuff, the words aren't uh, translated very well. And when they wrap words wrap around, they're cut in half. So things don't quite make sense. And then you have uh, steps and then sub steps, but some of the sub steps jump like one, two, three, four, five, six kind of thing. So it's all over the place. And then there will also be like an eight, one, two, three on some pages. So you don't know which number corresponds with what because they're so close together. So you just kind of figure it out on your own. Um, this is as a guide and I just kind of put the rest together. Some of the parts are actually mislabeled as well. Screw sizes and spring sizes are also inconsistent. So just use your best judgment uh, and go with that if you decide to get the kit. Overall, I think for the 14 bucks, it was really fun. It's fun to have like a little show piece and mess around. I don't have a real uh, twin lens camera yet. I plan on buying one on eBay or something eventually. Um, to play around with but an actual 120 instead of 35 this again is 35 it's not 120 so it would use standard film which can be a benefit but also a detriment because one of the other things that's really good would be medium format so you get that bigger picture size extra re resolution and everything but yeah uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have done uh, this kit or anything similar uh, or if you'd like to see more builds like this I love putting stuff together it's really fun it's a good way to spend an afternoon not staring at screens or something like that but uh, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate all of you and hope you have a great weekend. Thanks.